Oh, hello, Landkeeper. Everything starts with capital. Every sentence, every name, every investment. Buy now. Nah, not into it. All right. Welcome back to the cafe. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy more cassette feasts. It's been a minute since we have gone into this world of new world um, because I've been playing so many demos. But I would love to just hop back on the Cassette Beast train because this game has definitely been on my mind. Uh, and West Harbor Town. I feel like we haven't, we need to get some sort of either swimming ability or something to get across or maybe extend our hover. So there's a whole village, part of the village we haven't been to, which I find kind of odd. I don't know, maybe, maybe I've missed no, I don't want stickers, Meredith. I want to figure out how to get to this other side. Because I feel like we should be able to, but maybe not. Yeah, doesn't look like we can make it. So I have a quest uh, to talk to, I believe... What is his name? Captain Ham? Yeah. Oh, have I been to him? To Captain Lodestein? Um, have you been, there's the valley west of Eastham Woods where Captain Lodestein hangs out. So I feel like that's probably good. We defeated another archangel. Oh, hello. Oh wait, can I? Yeah, the square rocks. Aha, there we go. Okay. Well, this is nice. We got to the other side. Oh, wait, oh, this is how we get to the other side of the town. Oh! Oh, this is great. Okay, well, unintentional achievement unlocked. Um, don't worry about the traffic crab. That's just my son. He loves playing with his bootleg... Bootleg tape? We have not heard of bootleg tapes. Yeah, have you ever seen a monster in your travels that isn't its normal color? Oh! I feel like the traffic crab in... The train station is a different color, if I'm remembering correctly. It's a bootleg, but don't confuse it with the coating. Bootleg monsters permanently have different colors, different elemental types, and different moves from usual. And when you record them, they keep those attributes. Recorded bootlegs have a higher rate of producing uncommon and rare moves, so they can be very useful. Here, why don't you take this and see for yourself? Captain Cody gives me his spares, and I have plenty already. Beastie bootleg, Burnus, who looks super cool. Oh my gosh. Burnuses have no legs and can only move by sliding their heavy concrete bodies along the ground with their hands. Their endlessly burning internal furnaces allow them to emit flames and toxic smogs from their chimneys at a moment's notice. Very cool. All right. Burnus was put in storage. Bootleg monsters can appear anywhere at random, but apparently they're more often seen in fusions. I've heard some very rare bootleg monsters sparkle and shine as if they're covered in glitter. Hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, investigate the rest of your house. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Nope. Okay. There's a whole section of New World. Oh, and it's raining. I love it when it rains. A lot of newcomers in town go through a difficult period. If I had any advice for you, it'd be embrace your new life here. That doesn't mean you should forget the life you used to have, though. You're as much your past as you are your future, you know? I mean, that's great advice, even if you aren't moving from place to place, right? <gasps> life in Harbor Town is peaceful, but I miss city life. Commuting on hot trains, buying expensive lunch from a supermarket, losing most of my wages to rent. Ah, uh, we love... <laughs> what is that saying? The grass is greener on the other side, always? Those were truly the days. <laughs> I don't know. Call me a homebody, but I actually would very much like a more quiet village life, as long as I didn't have to worry about working, right? I specialize in stickers that change type with the user. Very handy if you're also using my colleague's coatings, and they're all compatible with every tape to boot. Ooh, this is very cool. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye on that. Maybe uh, in between videos, I'll do a little bit more investigating and um, customizing. Elemental chemistry is the key to success in combat. I design stickers that give you the control of chemistry, the advantage in battle. That's cool. Again, I think what I'll probably do is uh, just visit that on a different day when I'm not 
mostly just playing for story, which is what I do for the videos. Town Heritage Center. Cool, let's see what we've got in here. Hey. My great-grandfather was one of the sailors who was shipwrecked on New World over a hundred years ago. I'm sure he'd be proud to see what we've made of this place. Whoa. I love that they, we have a painting, I, I presume dedicated to the folks who arrived here first. Year 48, following the arrival of multiple engineers, the first electrical grid is built in Harbor Town. Year 50, upon the 48th anniversary of its formation, Harbor Town dissolves its previously established mayoral position and becomes managed by a committee. Year 6, the first child is born on New Weryl. The first attempt to leave New Weryl ends in disaster. A vessel built on the island is sunk by storms a mile from the coast. So some those storms don't seem natural. They are probably, um, whether magical or otherwise created, intended to keep people here. New arrivals appear for the first time. Harbor Town is officially founded. Year two, how... Oh, I see. Maybe there's a first group and then year two new arrivals came. The first recorded encounter with an unknown native creature or monster occurs. Year one, the British naval vessel HMS Birkenhead sinks in a storm in the year 1845. Much of the crew and wreckage wash ashore on an unknown island later christened New World. Oh, so the storm was somehow a portal of some sort or somehow transported them to New World. 1845, oof. Year 91, Fall Down Mall is discovered, bringing a large supply of earth goods to New Wirral. The phenomenon of monster recording is discovered for the first time, probably because of cassette store. Year 89, I'm reading these all out of order. <laughs> After a terrible disaster, New London is destroyed. Only one resident survived and was able to return to Harbor Town. Whoa. I'm forgetting what year we're in right now and what relation Penny Dreadful has to that one sole survivor, perhaps. Harbor Town history. <laughs> Harbor Town has a much more interesting history than you'd think. It's important to look back on our history here if we want to see what future our future needs of us. It's truth in any case. An attempt to form a second town in New London begins on New Weryl. Okay, so the, ta the New London only lasted for, what, 20 years? 30 years? Yeah, not very long at all. Hmm. It's a very recent history. Hey. Ianthe is my hero. Did you know she was the first person on the island to record a monster with a cassette player? So this is a very new technology. Ianthe's, I mean, presumably grew up here, but still. Eugene's place. Oh, interesting. Eugene, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this will be so much easier to get across now. <laughs> who who left the bridge up in the first place? Uh... Oh, what's that? What are you blushing for? Do you have a secret or uh, do you have a crush on someone on the other side that you've been looking at from afar for so long and now you have to do something about it because the bridge is dropped? Oh. Am I just projecting? <laughs> I bet you never could expect to see one as someone as famous as me here, did you? Wait, you don't recognize me? Who do you think you are? Oh, what's this? Hmm. Got multiple rooms. It seems like maybe an empty house or dormitory. Not so empty. Huh? Anxious Ranger. Pardon me, but are you involved with the Rangers? Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm a fellow ranger. Well, a trainee at least. Perhaps you could lend me a hand. I've got some plant saplings grown by the pipers over on their farm. They're for prettying up the town. Uh... However, I'm not great at decision making. Which plants would look best? It's too much. Would you help a fellow ranger out and pull some sap put some saplings on the planters I left around town? Thanks. Sure. All right. That sounds good to me. There are 14 planters. Let me know when you filled them all. Well, do these count? Sure. <laughs> got that. Oh, I see we've got multiple choices. Oh, I do like the cherry blossom. All right, well, two. Oh, wait, there's two more right there. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, let me let me do this task and then uh, check back in with y'all. <laughs> do red roses here. 
and uh, pale orchids. Ooh. All right, no, uh, let me fast forward. <laughs> All right, whew. Took most of the day. The ones in the ranger hall stumped me. They took me a long time to find. I kept missing them. Uh, but we did it. We planted the seed. So now let's go inform that ranger that we did what I think may have been her ranger quest. <laughs> Can that count? Can that count for me, please? <laughs> Be really nice. Okay. No, it's good to help folks. You're done? Uh, yeah. We successfully raised the town's twee rating by a few points. Thanks. Thank you so much. There were so many choices to make that I was practically frozen. Here, take this in return for your help. Yay! Oh, all right. Some experience, like some oh, ceramic tape and fused material. That's good stuff. All right. Worthwhile side quest. Now, let's go back to the main quest that, well, at least that we were focusing on, which is, uh, doing a little bit of exploration. Oh, hello. Look at this beautiful water. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so vast. Dang, but also... Oh, Landkeeper. I came here because I heard there was a bank, but all I see is a river. <laughs> <Ba -dums. laughs> First battle of the day, level 19. Okay, so we should be in a pretty decent spot. Ooh, we're gonna have to warm this up because I have not done a battle in a minute. Again, I've been playing lots of lots of demos, so it'll be nice to get settled back into this system. Let's do smack. We're just gonna build up our points. Do a little bit of a heavier hit next round. <laughs> I've missed this world. I very, very much think Cassette Beast is one of those titles that not necessarily underrated. I think that's always, I don't know. It's not quite what I think it is. I think this is just one of those cult classics that people are gonna when they play it say oh my gosh it's so good and then if they haven't discovered it you know it's hard because there's so many games coming out but that's why we play up here hopefully hopefully this gives you an opportunity to enjoy this this game and maybe encourages you to pick it up or recommend it to a friend yeah that should be set all right, so this is an area I feel like I'm a little bit over level for, just a little bit. Uh, but I wonder if, <laughs> well, it may be at least I'll find a revenue stream. Wah, 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 wah. You know what, I, I do appreciate it. Um, is this New World? This is the back way to New World? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, there's a button right here. Oh, ooh, that looks like an Archangel location. But how to get over there? I see what looks like a cassette be swimming. I wonder if I could battle it to get swimming powers. <laughs> this is a long shot, but... Oh my gosh, it... But it worked! But it worked! Thirst Station Lake Caves. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to have some sort of ability to swim, which I don't currently. God, this water looks amazing. Okay, we're gonna test it out just to see. Yeah, no. Okay, well, we'll put a pin in this one. Figure out how we can get some swimming. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I see all of the swimming cassette beasts, so it's really a matter of just figuring out how. How? Oh. Okay, and we just got in the last episode uh, the magnet. Oh, I wonder if I can combine magnet with glide. Yes, I can. Oh, balls. Oh my gosh, that was so powerful. It took me a little bit. 
Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's there's so much drift, which is kind of fun, but also uh, means that I have to <laughs> be a little bit more precise in my gameplay here, which uh, I was not expecting. It's funny, I'm curious if y'all ever get into different headspaces when you play games. So like if I'm playing like Celeste or Hollow Knight or, you know, specific games that have really specific skills needed, uh, it feels a little bit more... <laughs> oh, oh, wait, hold on. What does this lead to? It lets me move to the top. Oh, to that treasure chest. Okay, we're gonna be we're gonna be going for that. Um, but yeah, playing specific games kind of requires me to get in specific headspaces, and so it's really interesting to play a game and be like, oh, I have to switch a little bit. My brain wasn't ready for this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Final jump. Oh my gosh, that took. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was like, wait, that took longer than it needed to. Oh. No, we needed to bring that dang box that was located over there. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. This is this is madness. This is absolute madness. Okay, that definitely took longer than it should have. <laughs> Okay, but I persevered because I really had gotten to the point where I was like, I spent so much time, even if even if there was just like one wheat in the box, nothing else, uh, I would have I would have kept going. Uh, sunk cost co sunk cost fallacy. Who is she? I don't know her. Okay, so we are here. Now, again, we're in a world full of traffic crabs and snakes. But not one with what I'm looking for. So this whole vast area looks like it's going to be, or at least through here, is going to be a lake. Hmm. Let's do a little bit more sleuthing and ex- Ooh, hello. A lot of- Oh, yes, yes, yes. Fun things to discover. Cool, cool. Oh, this is where we were at the beginning. Oh, how fun. Kind of a full circle moment. Feels feels a little like it. Okay, now here's the risk I'm going to take. I see some islands here. Got a lake. We've got things that we can step on they say no hmm did we trap ourselves oh dear I don't think so okay no we have potential oh that might be a little bit far oh no okay and it brought us all the way back here so the game even was like no 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 you're not thinking correctly You know, what we can do is just go to the last station and just go right here. So let's do that. Let's do a little teleportation, shall we? <laughs> no, thank you. We shall not be fighting that boss again. Nowhere. What was it? The Nowhere King was a very, very cool boss. Oh, I see some treasure chests up there. We'll have to investigate that at another time. But I really want to get... Oh, hello, Landkeeper. Yes. Everything starts with capital. Every sentence, every name, every investment. Buy now. Nah, not into it. All right, Hopskin, level 25. We should be able to take you on. Uh, let's do... Double smack. Oh, let's try the energy shot. How does that work against Hopskin? A little beastie. Rude. Flinched. No. Why? Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to charge. Sh 
Shucks. Shucks. That was easy. You won't put a full stop to us. I haven't really done anything with the land keepers, though. Oh, it looks like we're coming up. Ooh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Not since Nixon took, so took us off the ghoul standard have we seen such a rush to purchase property. As a social former social studies teacher, I do appreciate the historical twists that are put in here. <laughs> oh. All right, land keeper, and we've got a Jorman gold. We're getting close to a fusion too, which is great. If we have to do a battle, a uh, boss battle soon, uh, that should that should be pretty beneficial. It's going to be a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher, but I think we should be okay. Hum, ho hum, ho hum. <laughs> Let's do. We'll continue with bite. And that actually should be pretty good. Woohoo! Okay. Feeling good, feeling confident. The population of New World keeps growing, but nobody has a thought to build new homes. It's a perfect setup. Is it though? Okay, we're gonna have to, let's see, can we sneak behind the back here? Ah, yes, use our magnetic powers. Oh, the, did the lights just turn on? I think the lights may have just turned on. Fascinating. Well, let's hop on in for a little visit. <laughs> As prospective tenants, it's in your best interest to remain on good terms with the Landkeepers Association. You wouldn't want to be cast out of your homes, would you? Uh. <sighs> That's a pretty dark thing to say. It is. Tis. But we're going to take them down for saying it, so don't you worry. Right, we're going to sharpen. Uh, let's do an energy shot. Hopskin should be quick to take down. We just had that happen. Um, Snoopin, I think, should be pretty quick as well. Ooh! Okay, well, let's first go with a bite. And I'm going to take... No, you know what? I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to switch because it's always much more cost-effective to heal versus revive. <laughs> Okay. I didn't pay attention. I don't think any of them have more cassette beasts. Ah, oh, they do. They do. At, at this point, I should just expect it. I, sh I should know better. Okay, we're gonna raise the melee attack and uh, curse slice. Hit the whole team. Do a little damage both ways. Just to, just to keep them on their toes. Ooh, okay. They said we're gonna keep you on your toes with the exact same thing. Rude. Okay, well, let's get down to business, shall we? Uh, copper shop? That didn't do, that didn't do what I wanted. Shucks. Shucks. Oh. Okay, well, at least I got rid of the, that land keeper. Ooh, Meredith, no! Okay, let's go with uh, Acropolis. Acropolis. And we're gonna just uh, mech and a uh, pustule bomb, please. Just get a little poison in here. Not quite needed. But, but, Scampire! Oh, that's cute. That's a great name. Um, let's do bite. And oh, we can't do pusho bomb. Let's do skip it. Batui. Oh wait, poison is still effective. Nice. I forgot that it crossed over. Didn't need it. Never mind. <laughs> Battle was won. 
I'm glad that punching those guys really hard is considered a public service, and we unlocked Acting on Your Best Behavior, Part 3. Not the final part, though. I feel like they would have made a bigger deal about that. Just for the sake of it, let's clear out this last person. Hmm. The Landkeepers are here to accept, help New Wirral grow into a developed nation. The first step is establishing a currency. The most popular option among landkeepers right now is to peg it to the value of the soul. An extremely scarce resource where we're from. If you'd like, you could deposit your soul with us for legal tender. Tender this, landkeeper! Okay, we're gonna sharpen and we are going to switch to Spitfire. My favorite pup. Okay, the bite should take most of this scampire out. Especially because I sharpened. Most, yep. Nice. And there we go. There's the rest. <laughs> New Wero's fate. Favor and barter economy is quaint, but it's not going to last. After all, what's the point of it all if the upper class can't print quadrillions of favors out of nothing? Yeah, no, we're not about to let that happen. Sorry, as Kaylee would say. Sorry. Now, I'm curious what these three levers have to do with anything. Right, we need boxes. We need boxes. We will do that another time. <laughs> I like how Meredith is like, you could break it with a dash, but instead I just <laughs> I just decided to, to jump over it. Okay, so it looks like we found our second lever. I mean, if we find the third one. Oh, what's this? Ah, well, that's nice. This will serve two purposes. We get some treasure here, and it'll be perfect to just... Boop. No, <laughs> Meredith. Toss down there. It looks like we've got a battle coming up here. But I want... Ah, battle. You know we're in a new area where we take two steps and we're in another battle. Halt. State your name and affiliation, shoulder. Soul shoulder. <laughs> Soldier. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is a cutie pie. Velociriffle? Velociriffle. <laughs> I love them. Okay. Sharpen. And gosh, we just need to switch. Let's do Acropolis. We're going to have to heal up, though. Meredith is not looking too great. So we're going to go with Bite and a uh, Pustule Bomb. And this should should take, take this out pretty quickly. What happened to the Bite? Is their agility just way higher than mine? Probably. Ooh. Uh, actually, no. Let's keep Ram out. Let's do a smack just to gain a little bit of SP. Um, and spit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think as long as we're going for Ram instead of Meredith, that's cool. And we should be able to do... Well, I think with the bite or a smack, uh, we should be able to take them out next. We are really cutting it close with poor Meredith and Acropolis. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I've lost my unit. We were combing the woods near our base in Suffolk. I got separated while on autopilot and found myself here. I don't know how it happened. Oh no! Yeah, you're trapped. 
in this place. Have you seen the city? By any chance? Perhaps you could go to New World, meet some new friends? Okay, we've got more bulletinos down there. It looks like we're in the right area, but uh, I would love to find a campfire to heal, as that is going to be much more useful to me at this point in time. Water tape. Uh, duck, dive, and dodge. Try to make sure I don't antagonize any creatures. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that bush moved. I think I found a different kind of cassette beast. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like we... Okay, the closest fire is at the mall, so I'm just gonna go back there. Okay, let's do a little rest. Maybe we'll get a new dialogue um... with Meredith. Ooh. With both the Archangels appearing and us fusing for the first time, things have gotten suddenly very strange in my life lately. Uh, in a bad way? Uh... Uh, don't, don't take it the wrong way. Fusing with you is cool, but it's weird, right? I guess I wasn't expecting this island to throw any more surprises at me, not to mention your plan to find a way to leave. It's been so long since I arrived here, I barely thought about going back. I guess I was never that close to anyone back home to begin with. I don't like most people. I think that's why I like distracting myself. When I arrived here, I kind of got obsessed with electronics, making lights and stuff for the town. It gives me something to focus on so I don't have to think about everything else I'm missing. Girl, you are speaking, unfortunately speaking, a language I understand all too well. Uh, the ability to dive into work, dive into being productive, uh, and not pay attention to maybe the things that you should be paying attention to is an unfortunate strength of mine. Um, let me know in the comments if you feel like that's something you've struggled with before too. If not as a whole character trait, maybe at certain points of your life, procrastinating or putting off things that you think you're like, ah, I don't really want to do that. Instead, I'm going to focus on this other thing. And it's going to seem really helpful and good, but really it's a, it's a coping mechanism. I think it was the same with finding that album. <sighs> Sorry for being such a... <sighs> Sorry for being... Me, I guess. Hey, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> Thanks. For a second, I sounded like Kaylee there. Do you know what I mean? She's always acts like she got something to apologize for. That's enough sincerity. Come on, let's finish up here. <gasps> We've leveled up our relationship. We can now use fusion power when fused with Meredith. Now have 10% more strength. We should probably take some time with Eugene. I feel like uh, we haven't gotten to hang out with him and we haven't quite heard his story. And it looks like Kitteli Kitelli is ready to remaster. Oh, that's so cool. Cat 5. Whilst its face may resemble a plasma screen display, Cat 5 appears to have no difficulty in seeing. Since it lacks a mouth, it draws static electricity out of the atmosphere with its twin cable tails in order to power itself. That is cool. Oh my gosh. Is the next evolution going to be a projector? <laughs> like, what else do we use besides plasma TV? LCD? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so let's go back and see what we can find. All right, as Kaylee would say, uh, it looks like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to jump on down and see what I find. Looks like there's some switches to switch. Hmm. It's like we've at least broken that rock. Okay. Ooh, more switches. We'll start flipping them. I don't know what it does, but... Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That's cool. Loading the rest of the world. All right. Whoa. Oh, they disappeared. Okay. So we've got a timed something that we can do over there. Hmm. The rock we can break. And just more 
switches. Oh, there was a switch I missed over here in the corner. Might have to fight that bulletino, though. I'm gonna see if I can avoid it. Yeah, there we go. Woof. Oh, we got another battle, but again, I'm gonna try and avoid for now, mostly because I just wanna, just wanna explore, get my bearings, maybe do a side quest or two, one more before we close out for today, you know? Oh, fireplace? Heck yes. All right. Now I know we're leaving the forest that I wanted to technically go explore first, but now I'm like, there's so much more here. <gasps> whoa. So, so what? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, what's happening? Oh God. Okay. Um, is this like a surprise captain? <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, let's do double smack for now. Yeah. Conductive. Oof. And we've sharpened. Okay. We've got two more cassette beasts in this battle after Domino, though. And I imagine this is probably just the just the taste. Just the start of what we're gonna have to look forward to. Unless we can just attack the person. Ah, oh, we're so close. Maybe next time. We might have to we might not have to fight all three. So that'll be kind of nice if that ends up being the case. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, just the sliver of HP left. Oh, we were so close. Okay, Moth Maniac. It's a moth maniac, maniac, whoa, whoa. And it's flying like it's never flown before. <laughs> oh, so vibrant. Again, look at the cool, it's got like a crown, it's so cool. Okay, who are you and why did you jump down when I flipped the switch? Huh? Oh, uh, I don't know whether I was a man dreaming, I was a dominoth. Or whether I'm a domino dreaming I'm a man. Huh? Oh, you're like the philosopher. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is a deep cut reference. Okay. Oh, Hi. you saw me from so far away. Hey, you. Are you trying to sneak past me? Yes. <laughs> I'm here for your benefit, you know. Monsters past here won't hesitate to put you in a hospital. If you're certain you're ready for them, show me your moves. Well, now I'm not. Yeah, oh geez, you're level 31? Okay. Oof, all right, well, I guess we're maybe going too far then. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean it, I swear. This battle will be tough, but who knows, maybe. I like to say you never know until you try, right? And perhaps we will, oh, failed. Perhaps we will surprise ourselves. I lost track. How many cassette tapes did this person have? Ugh, I imagine this ranger probably has two or three. Okay. No? Just the one? Alright. Sorry. You seem like you know what you're doing. Go right ahead. Ooh, the music's a little bit shifted. Oh my gosh, look at that amazing hair. Oh, huh, this meadow is pretty cute. It is. Got a lot of different types here. Now, we're at a campsite. I don't see, oh God, look at the reflection. That's beautiful. Hmm. My whole hope was trying to find maybe a cassette beast that would, I don't know. Allow us the ability to swim, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. Whoop. Twirly gig. All right. Well, hey, we have not caught a cassette beast today, so we should we should do that. Let's uh, let's do a double smack. Get rid of this domino first, and then we can try and get the twirly gig. Raise shields. All right. I appreciate it. Appreciate that a lot. 
So let's see, can I record? Yes, tree bark tape. Use on, twirly gig. And um, let's do a double smack. Now, I think it's 100% accurate. Oh, it's not. It's not. Okay, there we go. We just had to do just a little, little bit of damage. Plant type attacks ground the electricity of lightning. Yes, that makes sense. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. We got a twirly gig. Twirly gigs were once crudely made target practice dummies. Yeah, they look like the ones from the medieval times, but have sense gained sentience through unknown means. Lacking any complex limbs, they are forced to move and attack by pivoting on the wooden stakes that run through their bodies. What an existence. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> I almost forgot that we had to still finish the battle, really. <laughs> Okay, we have the switch here. Perfect, perfect. Now, whoa, the monsters here are scarier than we are. Maybe we should come back here another time, mate. Oh, this seems like maybe it's a end of the game kind of situation here. Let's do a little peek though. Let's see, what have we got? Oh, this is going to be a battle. Let me save. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. Level 31. That's going to be... This is rough. This is rough. Um, all right. Let's do a little electrocution time because water, right? There we go. Water and plant combo, but I feel like the water will work to our favor here. Ooh. Okay. Let's do another charge. Just extend that electrified. That's doing some pretty good damage. It's not doing as much as I would hope. Uh -huh. Healing leaf. <gasps> I want a healing leaf. Why don't I have one of those? Hmm. No, actually, let's do another charge. Just keep adding to the conductive there. Now I'm hoping it's going to heal, unfortunately. Desperation. Whoa. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's do our palin... Let's do our acropolis, because we know that this is not the end. This is part one of the battle. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with when they unfuse and <sighs> the fight really truly begins. Here we go, frilly pad and twirly gig. And they flinched. Perfect. I am a-okay with that. So let's bite and let's do some pustule bomb. Okay, I see that I have a fusion ready, but I'm not going to use it because again, the whole the whole point is to save that for when we fight an archangel or captain. Mostly an archangel. I feel like the captains haven't been too bad. Oop. Shield time. All right. Okay. Try me. Try me. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to my good old Spitzfire because you're a plant. And plants, they don't like fire so much. Spitzfire, though, loves fire. <laughs> it's in his name. Here we go. Sure, fire. No, thanks. Let's do incinerate. Wahoo! Okay. I didn't do as much damage <clears throat> as I was kind of hoping.
Okay, this next round should do it though. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Nice fused material. All right. That battle wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is a really lovely area. Ooh, I like that drum that came in. Whoa, the camera flipping here, though. That's a little bit rough. Uh -huh. My eyes are not big fans of that. Oh, whoa, hey, look, you can see this ship. I think that's the original ship uh, that crashed. Okay, we've got... Done some pretty decent exploring. That church looks structurally unsound. We should absolutely go inside. Well, you said it, not me, Meredith, so I, I say let's go. I'm all for it. Whoa, okay, another puzzle. That'll give us a nice uh, treasure chest, probably. Wahoo! Oh, this was fun. Oh! One of these puzzles, I see. Oh! I feel like a smarty pants. <laughs> oh, don't mind me as I just whip up a solution to this puzzle in two seconds. No problems. Okay, can I make it? Ah. I wonder if I have to defeat another Archangel first. What's this? <gasps> Another landkeeper's office. Well, whoops. The monsters are pretty scary. Again with the scary. Okay, well, I accidentally jumped down. Didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, you saw me. I'm all the way over there. Landkeepers are being unfairly accused of racketeering. We don't even like sports. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely gonna be not not the place I wanted to be. I will say that for sure. Okay, let's do okay the mountain ground. So that's not not strong against fire, or that is strong against fire. So I don't want to focus on there. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be tough. I didn't believe Meredith, because Meredith already had been warning me about other areas, and it so far hasn't proven to be too... too bad, so... The joke's on me, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that, that was not too bad. Youch! Okie dokie, let's see. Can we do Shooting Star and... Oh, uh, let's do Inflame. This is not gonna knock him out. I suspect my Ram is gonna be taken out in this next round. Yep. Whoa, really? Not yet? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, you did have another one. <laughs> Scampire. Scampire, why? <sighs> okay. Okay. We're doing okay. Do, do, do. I, think we, I think we did. I, I need to... You know what, everyone? The lesson for today's video is to not underestimate yourself too much. We're actually doing okay. Could I have maybe come out of this with a little more health? Probably. I optimized it, but I didn't, and that's... It's working out. I'm not gonna go into the office itself. I think that's a little too much for me. I'll admit a certain pleasure in fencing. Now that's a sport. You buy stolen property and sell it before anyone finds out. Speaking of fencing, are you interested in buying a new home? No? Never mind then. Yeah, please get get out. We do not. We do not 
have any interest in your wares. Okay, we might be in. Okay, I got it. I got it. Ooh, who are you? Another ranger, perhaps? Now, I know that we had some quests that were out this far. I'm wondering if perhaps we could take a look and see if we can solve any of them. Oh, monster wearing diving gear. <gasps> I bet you we could have jumped into the water and fought it. Oh, shucks. Yeah, we passed an old ruin. Oh, I wonder if that was the church? Maybe the big church? Okay, we'll have to check that out. Um, but you know, today admittedly was a chill day. Um, we explored, but that's okay. We we got a side quest done, we captured a new cassette be beast, and we we got a big swath of the map uncovered. Uh, and what's nice is that now I think we have the ability to just go into the spots, pinpoint them, uh, now that we know that we can get there. And next episode, we're gonna be knocking out quests left and right, up and down, all around. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. For oh, actually, do you know what? Um, I'm blinking. Hold on. Let me check who said this because it was such a good pointer that I totally did not think to look or try. Okay, looked it up. Thank you, Rafa Buddha, for um, giving me this tip that I didn't even think to look for, but it looks like the different bosses, the different archangels we fought are in here. So view fusions. We have, we found these fusions, which is really cool. Um, frilly pad, frilly gig. Aha. Okay, here we go at the end. Um, A1456. So we have Morgante, a wounded archangel who was once a great power. Morgante's voice carries a force that can tear the fabric of reality itself, but this power is weakened. Papatox, that has this really interesting almost claymation, but not sort of visual effect. Um, Papatox's body is made of a strange distorted matter. It can tear chunks of this matter from itself and craft crude replicas of those who confront it. These effigies have a strange connection with the individual they mimic and can transmit any damage dealt back to them. Morningstar feeds on the devotion of others, which matches the cult side quest, the cult quest line that we had, sometimes to a lethal extent if the individual's commitment is strong enough. It whispers from its underground station, hoping that its acolytes will eventually find their way down to it and their deaths. And again, what's super interesting, I'll read Nowhere Monarch. Uh, Nowhere Monarch resides below the Fall Down Mall, feeding on the lost potentials humans emit when they spend their lives consumed by trivial media and content. Each of these is playing on a weakness of humanity, it feels like. Um, Nowhere Monarch media content, our needs for our, our need for our brain to be constantly entertained by something. Um, Morningstar is taking this idea of faith and devotion and corrupting it. Papatox. Papatox. Hmm. Papatox is a hard one. I feel like craft crude replicas of those who confronted effigies. I feel like Papa Talks could go a couple of different ways. I can't remember who I was with or what the, the side quest was for Papa Talks. So if any of you have theories, please feel free to type them below uh, in the comments. I think with Papa Talks, this kind of goes back more into a religious sense, kind of what Morningstar reminds me of. So I think maybe it's like overlapping a little too much, but I remember, I don't do church anymore. <laughs> it's not my thing anymore. But when I was a kid, we went. And I remember there was like a commandment or a story about not creating idols in um, like false idols. And I wonder if Papa Talks has something about that, where it's like this, this false idol, this effigy that you are maybe paying more attention to. Whoops, sorry. Uh, pay more attention to or uh, uh, like like lifting up more than the actual creations. Yeah, Papatox, I think I, I want to think on that a little bit more. And then Morgante, 
is, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe it seems like a reference to the witch from King Arthur's, like, tales, Knights of the Round Table kind of tales, because New Whirl, I think, is where that some of that was set. Again, my knowledge is so... I need to review this. I should give myself some homework to review this. But I think Morgante is a reference to Morgana, I think her name was, who was a witch who was trying to overthrow or did overthrow King Arthur, maybe. <laughs> so I think there's a connection there. Um, and again, the location of New Weryl being um, in Europe and... I feel like that's all connected somehow. Um, but I think they also, again, each of these is somehow playing on a weakness that we find in humans, um, which is super cool and super interesting. And I'm honestly a little disappointed we didn't find an archangel that we could get to. We did find the location of another one. Uh, we just need to get that swimming skill for sure. But again, chill episode today. But yeah, thank you for telling me that this can be found in the bestiary. I would have never looked um, here because scrolling through, I would have only seen the cassette beasts. So this is really, really helpful and appreciate the comment. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. That You are finding lots of games to play and I will see you next time in the cafe. Bye.